Hello everyone, in this video let us solve some examples which are given in the Sadiko textbook. So the first uh, example is like how much charge is represented by 4600 electrons. You know the charge of one electron is minus 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb, right? So one electron has charge of minus 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb then what is the charge represented by 4600 electrons so for one electron if this is the charge then for 4600 electrons what is the charge okay so here i will write it as x so x is equal to we will cross multiply this 4600 into minus 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 and divided by what is this number it is divided by 1. So after solving this you will be getting the answer that is minus 7.369 into 10 raised to minus 16 coulomb. So this is the charge represented by 4600 electrons. So the next question is Total charge entering a terminal is given by Q is equal to phi t sin 4 pi t milli coulomb. Then calculate the current at t is equal to 0.5 seconds. So the given data here is charge Q is equal to phi t sin 4 pi t milli coulomb. Okay. So now the time is also given that is 0.5 seconds. So now they are asking what is the total current okay total current so we have to find i what is this i you know the relation so electric current is nothing but it is the rate of change of charge right that is dq by dt you know this formula very well so now we have to substitute this in the given formula so i is equal to what is the charge it is see this is differentiation right dq by dt so d by dt of what is this phi t sin 4 pi t so now i will differentiate this so differentiating this see t and sin 4 pi t you know the rule so first i'll keep t as it is then you have to differentiate this sin 4 pi t that is cos 4 pi t then we have this term 4 pi t because there is a t term so we have to differentiate that also so that is 4 pi plus 5 and now I will keep this term as it is and I will differentiate t with respect to t that is 1. So this is the i. Now we have to find this current at t is equal to 0.5 seconds. So after differentiating the charge now we have got this equation. Here we have to substitute t is equal to 0.5 seconds. Okay. So here i is equal to 5 into 0.5 cos 4 pi into 0.5 is nothing but it is 1 by 2 then we have into 4 pi plus 5 sin 4 pi into 1 by 2 so you know sin 2 pi or sin 0 that is equal to 0 so this is 0 so we are left with only this term now only this term this is nothing but 2.5 cos 2 pi what is cos 2 pi? It is equal to 1. Okay. So, this is nothing but 2.5 into 4 pi because we have this term also, right? So, 2 pi over 2.5 into 4 pi that will give you 31.42 milliamperes. Okay. So, right here 4 pi also. So, 31.42 milliamperes. So, what we did? We took this formula I is equal to dq by dt. It is the rate of change of charge. So, now we have we are given with the q. So, we are going to differentiate that with respect to t. So, after differentiating with respect to t, we got this. Now, they are asking you to find the current at particular time. So, we have to substitute that t is equal to 0.5 in this case. And finally, you will be arriving at this answer. In this question, they are asking you to find the to total charge entering a terminal between t is equal to 1 second and 2 second if the current passing the terminal is i is equal to 3t square minus t ampere. So here they have given the current, they are giving the time also where you have to find the total charge. That means you have to find the q now. So you know the formula i is equal to dq by dt 
okay which is nothing but it is the rate of change of charge so here to find q what you are going to do you are going to integrate on both these sides so if i integrate okay if i integrate on both these sides integration and differentiation cancel so we are left with q and here it will be integration of the current so this this will be your formula right so here what happens is they are given you they have given you the current i so q will be equal to okay what is this i it is 3t square minus t dt okay and they are asking you to find the charge that is between t is equal to 1 second and 2 second so here i will take 1 and 2 that will be the limits of your integration so now if i integrate this first term that will be 3t cube by 3 and if i integrate this second term that will be t square by 2 okay t square by 2 now it is 2 and 1 so this will be t cube t uh, t cube minus t square by 2 so it will be 2 cube minus 2 cube minus 2 square divided by 2 then you will take minus then it will be 1 minus 1 by 2 so this one will be 8 8 minus 2 minus 1 by 2 so this is 8 minus 2 is 6 6 minus 0.5 is 5.5 coulomb okay so this is the answer 5.5 coulomb is the answer to this question